writers, far and away, this country's best-selling poet. In a fourth volume of poetry, Twelve Moons, the Pulitzer Prize-winning Mary Oliver continues to explore the alluring, yet well-nigh inaccessible kingdoms of nature and human relationships. Like Franz Liszt, Liebesram, Mary Oliver writes about the love tree in Harvest Moon. The mockingbird sings in the night. No sky could hold so much light, and here comes the brimming, the flooding, and the streaming out of the clouds into the leaves, glazing the creeks, the smallest ditches. So many stars. The sky seems stretched like an all black pot. Behind it, all the celestial fire we ever dream of. And the moon steps lower, quietly changing her luminous mark brushing everything as she passes with a slow hand and soft lips, clusters of dark grapes, apples swinging like lost planets, melons cool and heavy as bodies. And the mockingbird wakes in his hidden castle. Out of a silver tangle of thorns and leaves, he flutters and tumbles spilling song, rims of music over forest and river, copse and cloud wherever the white moon fancies her small wild prints. Fields after field after field.